Water is an essential resource for plants, used for maintaining their structure and carrying out cellular activities. Water scarcity has led many plants to evolve special adaptations for coping with droughts and arid environments. Some plants have become succulent, storing water inside their very cells. Other plants may shed their leaves during a drought and become dormant. Another adaptation is a rapid life cycle in which the plant dies off and leaves behind seeds that will germinate once conditions improve. So most plants cope with drought by trying to avoid it altogether. But there are some plants that actually embrace it, facing it head on. These are the so-called resurrection plants. These plants have evolved the ability to almost completely desiccate, losing up to 95% of their water content. They can later fully rehydrate when water becomes available once again. This adaptation has independently arisen dozens of times all along the plant tree of life, among mosses, club mosses, ferns, and flowering plants. This adaptation for desiccation tolerance manifests in different ways. Some plants have evolved mechanisms to protect cellular integrity during desiccation, while others are able to repair cell damage caused by desiccation or rehydration. Let's take a look at how the so-called resurrection fern, Polypodium polypodioides, undergoes the process of desiccation and rehydration. As this plant loses water content, respiration and photosynthesis decline and eventually cease. Because desiccation can cause severe deformation of cells, potentially leading to rupture, the resurrection fern has a special mechanism to cope with this. The plant synthesizes proteins called dehydrins, which attract water to the spaces between cell walls, allowing cells to slide past each other during the dehydration process, rather than rupturing. In the dry state, the leaves of this fern are curled into a thin cylindrical shell. The plant may look dead, but as soon as it is exposed to enough water, it can fully rehydrate back to its original form within a few hours. Unlike most plants which uptake water through their roots, rehydration in the resurrection fern occurs when water enters the leaves through the stomata, which are tiny holes in the undersides of leaves. The water slowly spreads throughout the leaves, causing them to uncurl and expand, and eventually the fern returns to its original state and resumes normal photosynthetic activity. As this plant transforms within the span of a few hours from dry and shriveled to bright green and thriving, this plant truly seems to come back from the dead. 